what's good welcome back to another video and today we're going over the washington football team versus the baltimore ravens week four game before we get started don't forget to like share and subscribe romans to 100 let's go ahead and get there and now let's go ahead washington versus baltimore you guys know washington that's my team that's what this channel is based off let's go ahead and get into it so let's start with these injury reports um here let's start from washington cole hogan He's going to be out for this game. He was uh, did not play Wednesday, but limited practice Thursday and Friday. Ryan Anderson, he's going to be questionable with ankle injury. He did not play Wednesday, but full practice Thursday and Friday. I do expect him to play Steven Sims Jr. He's going to be out. He didn't play this whole week on practice. He didn't practice, not play. Then um, Dontrell Inman did not play on, uh, did not practice on Wednesday. Then Thursday and Friday, uh, both full practice with the wrist injury chase young groin injury he's going to be out did not practice this whole week um again i didn't expect him to be in this game honestly we might not expect him to be in week uh five versus the la rams but hey we're gonna probably lose both those games so here morgan moses he's gonna be questionable to not play uh wednesday that practice wednesday and he was limited practice thursday with a full practice on friday um he, again, he's going to be questionable. Ryan Kerrigan, he was out for non-injury related. Did not practice Wednesday, but he was full practice Thursday and Friday. He's going to be good to go. Now, Sadiq Charles, he's finally getting a full practice. He had a thigh injury. Um, obviously, we're pretty sure he had a calf injury the last few weeks. Now, he had a thigh injury. He was limited practice Wednesday, but now Thursday and Friday, he was full practice. And, yeah, I mean, if Jaron Christian doesn't do too good, we possibly could see Sadiq Charles in the game. But I, I doubt it. But we again, we might. Um, Terry McLaurin, he's a thigh injury. Did he? Did, this was not on the injury report Wednesday. But again, he did, he limited practice Thursday, and it did not play Friday. He's questionable. We might not see him this. Um, we might not see him this week. And Kevin Pierre loose with uh, illness. He he wasn't on the injury report Wednesday or Thursday, but then he had illness on um, Friday. So he did not practice, but again, I think he should be fine, hopefully. And then Bryce Love to knee injury. He, on Wednesday and Thursday, wasn't on here. And then Friday, he did not practice, and he's going to be out. And he is on the IR. Don't forget that we also brought up um, Garnett. I forgot his first name, but Garnett. We brought him up from the uh, practice squad. So he'll be in the game for um, taking Bryce Love's spot. Then here, Baltimore Ravens. LJ Fort, he is questionable. Anthony Levine, he's questionable. Jimmy Smith is questionable. That's gonna be very interesting because he did not play. Um, he did not play fri or practice Friday, so we might not see him, which is gonna help us. And Ronnie Stanley, their starting tackle, he did not play Thursday or Friday or practice. Oh my gosh, say keep play, but he did not practice Thursday or Friday. He's questionable. With that being said, he might not be playing, which is gonna help us out a lot. Derek Wolf, he was um. He did not practice Thursday, but he was limited practice Wednesday and Friday. He's questionable. Justice Hill, he is he's gonna be he's full practice this whole week, but he's still listed as questionable. But they still should be fine. They got Mark, they got JK, and they also got Gus. Then um Justin Matabuke, I think that's how you say it. A defensive tackle, he is questionable. Chris Moore, wide receiver, he's questionable. And then Brandon Williams and Pernell McPhee, they look to be playing. That's not listed. So, um, but both for non-injury related. Uh, so we'll see what happens. We'll see who's available this game for the Washington football team and the Baltimore Ravens. We're going to have to wait and see. So, it, it, I mean, it's going to be a very interesting game, if, especially if Ronnie Stanley is out for the Baltimore Ravens. That's going to give us Montez Sweat, Ryan Kerrigan, Ryan Anderson more. It's going to help us a lot, especially when pressuring Lamar Jackson. And hopefully, maybe we can stop the run game a little bit. So, it's gonna be a very interesting game. A very interesting game. They got a they got a okay defense. We got an okay defense. Um, they got elite offense. We got me a below average offense, especially if Terry McLaurin is out. So we're at the. It's gonna be very interesting. Honestly, I think we're gonna lose. I don't think there was a. I don't think there's no question. I don't think there's a. I can't, I can't defend Washington this game. We're gonna lose. I just can't defend Washington. Now, maybe if we do some special, something special on defense, maybe or maybe special on offense. There's a chance, 
But I doubt it's gonna happen. I doubt it. So I just don't see it happening. <laughs> it's gonna be a very, a very bad game for us, especially in the next week too. But if they get an okay defense. I mean, even with Jimmy Smith possibly being out, you you got Marlon Humphrey who just got like a five year extension for like seventy something million dollars. You got somebody else. I think you have wait yeah Marlon Humphrey, not Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peters. You have him. So. Their, their cornerbacks are still going to be able to guard us, especially if Terry McLaurin's out. So, who's going to be it? It's going to be AGG, Isaiah Wright. Who else we got? Um, we I think we brought Kane Sins from the practice squad up. We Then, then we also have Dontrell in there. Because Dontrell, I mean, he was on here. But, yeah, he's going to be ready to play. He's going to be ready to play, most likely. Yeah, he was full practice Thursday and Friday. He should be playing this week. So that's going to be our number one receiver, most likely, if Terry McLaurin did not. And honestly, I'm fine. Terry McLaurin, take take this take this week off. Take the week off. Heal. We don't want to reiterate that injury, especially when we're playing the Ravens, when we really have no chance of winning. So I just don't see us winning this game. Um, but let's go ahead. Um, week 4 odds. Picks and over and unders and stuff like that. And I don't do it because I'm underage. I don't bet. It's just a little friendly thing, uh, a little fun thing. Uh, why not? Uh, Baltimore Ravens at Washington. Baltimore is obviously favored by 13 points. Um, you know what? I think, obviously, I'm going to take Baltimore. I think I'm going to go ahead and take them. I don't, I'm not going to take the points. I think this game's going to be closer than people think, in my opinion. Yeah. I think, Honestly, this could be like a 10-point game, in my opinion. Then 45 points scored. I'm gonna take that under. Yeah, I'm gonna take the under on that, on 45 points over under. I'm taking the under. So that's, I mean, that's it. And then when it, you know, I'm, I'm throwing some extra things in here. Um, take some inspiration from people what they do. Um, fantasy football. Let's talk about that because I really don't talk about it on the channel, and I kind of want to talk about it. Who should you be starting for both teams? Let's go ahead and get into that. Washington, don't start anybody. Don't. Just don't. Maybe, maybe Terry McLaurin, if he's available at the flex, but with Marlon Humphrey on him, he's not going to get too much. Maybe Logan Thomas at the flex, possibly, or Antonio Gibson. But again, there's really nobody to start. Maybe Dustin Hopkins. If you have Dustin Hopkins, you you probably should start him. Um. But, Ravens, Lamar Jackson, I wouldn't say Marquise Goodwin, but you could if you have a flex or something like that. One of their running backs, but I mean, it's questionable because they do have three running backs who could get the load, get that, you know, goal line touchdown. So it's it's hit or miss there. Um, Possibly their tight end. Even though their tight end did bad last week, he dropped like five passes. I don't think it was five, but he dropped a lot of passes. And then probably start their defense. Yeah, start their defense. And obviously, Justin Tucker. So that's pretty much it. But my my prediction, my my game. What, you, what am I trying to say? My my score. My score of this game. I will have the the Baltimore Ravens winning. Obviously, thirty to twenty. Yeah. I I think we'll be able to put some points on the board. You know what? No. You know what? I'm taking I'm taking the points for the Ravens. It's it's not going to be a ten point game. It's it's probably gonna be like a seventeen point game, probably thirty no, probably thirty four. I'm gonna go thirty four. If I'm doing the math right, what seventeen thirty four to seventeen? That's gonna be my prediction for this game. I don't want to say it, but it's gonna happen. We might lose worse than that. It's it's gonna be terrible. But again, I'll see you guys after the game for my post game. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.